ever smile. Set in the realm of joy, the people of Eversmile are plagued only by aching facial muscles, and not anthrax as we had hoped. Eversmile is a disgusting land of good humour and polite frivolity. Branahawk, war and anthrax have taken to this land like fleas to a rat. The region is, thanks to your unstinting efforts, now a major eyesore. Cositon, a hideous sham of a town, in which the prosperous citizens have no gripes or moans. Sadly, even the children are happy and secure. This is because they aren't punished for non-existent crimes. Dark Anna. The surviving citizens have more on their plates than a demon spawn with three dead adventurers to munch. Not that many citizens have survived as such. Water Dream Warm, a region of pointless frolicking and endless pleasure. No one here understands the true meaning of suffering and random shocking violence meted out arbitrarily. With his dread, this place now has a proper name because of what you did here. There is a healthy disrespect for life, and you'll be amused to hear that cannibalism has gained a strong foothold amongst the ragged inhabitants. Flower Hat Polite bartering has led to extreme compassion and a surfeit of contentment in this area. Not even a thick-skinned troll could survive the understanding and help these scummy people can provide. Fire more. There's a burning mess where once a pretty village stood. Truly, you've achieved a significant improvement in the area. Even the poisonous smoke smells sweet. Lush meadow on down. The bloody axes of war and famine have so far bypassed this quiet backwater, leaving the inhabitants totally unaware of the purpose of real agony and loss. Unbearably most die of old age. Knife. The streets run with the blood of the slain. Screams of pain and howls of anguish rip the night air like a vengeful siren song. This really is somewhere you can take the kids for a weekend. Snuggledell. The folk of Snuggledell worship the common rabbit. Floppy-eared bunnies are encouraged to hop around the field surrounding the hamlet, bringing happiness, love, and more bunnies to the entire area. Ruiniana. Not a soul stirs here now. Even the rats are afraid to come out of the drains to feast on the dead. You really outdid yourself here, master. It's a pity the destruction was so easy. Wish fail. This region of dreaming underlings is ruled by the beautiful Lady Catherine. She's kind and fair, and doesn't imprison or torture her subjects, for some reason. Steep scythe. Everyone has been put to the sword, and we've made an enormous magic carpet out of the thousands of bunnies that swarmed here. Your minions will feast on their tiny remains for weeks, truly a majestic victory. Blissfully unaware of the damage protracted war can wreak on their idyllic cluster of homesteads, the villagers of Tickle are pure of heart and unblemished of face and neck. Panic Intrinsica. A weeping, wizened crone presides over this ruined, empty land now. Once she was beautiful. Now she'd want to make you vomit. The improvement is impressive. Moonbrush Wood, a forest town with a welcoming population. Demons and the legions of hell could ride in and would probably be offered cheap lodgings and a night of good cheer in a warm, cosy tavern. Neverdorf, once a flourishing homestead, now it's a stinking hole in the ground. It will be years before even the hardiest weed grows here again. War, on the other hand, is in full blossom. Never Grim. Unable to see the bad side of anyone, these folk could benefit from a swinging sword to the back of the neck, or possibly a lightning spell in the throat. Such possibilities never cross their happy minds. Grimsforth. 
The legions of hell have been through here at your bidding. They have altered the appearance of the place as you would wish, master. Now we breathe the heady perfumes of toxins wherever we wander. Hearth. Family life is the reason these serfs seem so confident and cheerful. Their unruffled existences would make even a terror dog throw up its breakfast of half-chewed champions. Rival Mark. A kingdom fit for a dungeon keeper of your standard, sire. The blackened hulks of the houses welcome you, and the overgrounders prostrate themselves, mainly because we've killed them. Elves dance. A village set inside a giant fairy ring. A weak kind of magic provides the dwellers with all their hearts could desire. Embarrassingly, most simply wish for peace, happiness, and a long, untroubled life. Dragon time. We set fire to this place. It's still burning with a fierce, unnatural intensity, so we can't get anywhere near it, but we're sure you'll love it, once it's cooled down a bit. Buffy Oak. A small location where people simply sit around and enjoy each other's company. They talk, laugh, and sing without ever arguing, drawing daggers, and dying in a gurgling rush of blood. <laughs> A truly bizarre place. Khan Forge. The fairy ring lies smashed, and the folk have fled to the hills. Our vampires are out hunting them down as we speak. Rest assured, we will be dragging them back soon, my lord. Sleepy Burra. A settlement in the fertile farmland near the mountains. Nothing ever happens here, apart from some good deeds and the odd exchange of kind-hearted greetings. A disgusting pit of Hades, in other words. Herilyn's down. The people enjoyed each other's company so much that they'll be together forever now. We've thrown them all into a big pit and piled tons of rocks onto them. A fitting end, we trust you'll agree. Woodley Rhyme. A village of such obscene contentment, it's criminal that a horde of undead vigilantes haven't massacred every soul in the place. If there's any justice, this will soon happen, my lord. Mormon Flack. We have developed this area. It is now a breeding ground for our legions of beetles and flies. To think it was once pointless farmland, providing food for the weak population which lived there in so-called Peace. Tulip scent. Flowers are on display in every building in this area. The poisonous stink of all these fetid blooms will stick in the throats and noses of all the right thinking villains who come within four leagues of the place. Hassenlock. Vampires have sucked the life out of everyone here. They have poisoned the well and smeared dung on all the door handles as a joke. No sophisticated sense of humour, these undead bloodsuckers. Mirthshire. Industrious citizens go about their daily business with care, enthusiasm and diligence. There is no crime, and everybody is working for the common good. It is a disaster of a place, and deserves raising. Demon's dearth. The flowers lie trampled in the dirt. Their disgusting pong has been replaced by the smell of soiled armour and the internal juices of those sliced to pieces by your servants. Quite an improvement, you'll agree. Blaze End. A place of joy and love. Nothing, the legends say, has ever spoiled the calm of Blaze End. So when something does, it'll be long overdue, and the inhabitants will thoroughly deserve it. Valianor. Nothing is left of this settlement apart from a stubborn stain on the ground. Our trolls are hard at work trying to erase this at the moment. Then we'll spray acid over the entire locale. Missile. Light and airy. Missile is a haven for those who love the peaceful countryside. The sort of people who won't like miles of sulphurous stinking wasteland. And the screams of the damned, of course. Dark Sword. A great battle has been won here. It was a bit one-sided, granted, but our minions performed valiantly, and now the day is ours. 
We've dealt with the survivors, by the way, properly. Skybird Trill, the ultimate in cute. A frown in Skybird Trill brings all the townspeople to the sufferer's door with gifts of love, fine cheer, and eternal friendship. A place where nothing can ever go wrong, or so they fondly believe. Long Terror. The world of Skybird Trill is nothing more than a charred wreck of a nightmare. We have won a furious, vital victory, and you are ruler supreme over the whole world. What next, master? <laughs>